Hey everybody, Kaiseri here, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Creations. I think this is episode 5, and it's been a really long time. I'm excited, I'm... I'm excited to get back to all of my series, but this one... Um, I think I'm especially excited for it just because we have the whole world to work in and play in and I'm getting a lot of ideas just kind of wandering around and I'm really, really excited for, for all of it. Last time, uh, we worked on our, um, forge here and, uh, I did do some things technically, I guess it was off camera. I recorded it, but I recorded it three to four weeks ago so I decided to just go ahead and scrap the footage um and kind of bring you guys in fresh we added some of these beautiful lanterns they're gorgeous I love them they're amazing uh and we also added some stairs in the floor these are all the blocks that um have a light level of seven and I know that mobs can't spawn on stairs. I'm hoping when they're in this kind of configuration that that rule still applies, but we'll find out. Um, and obviously I did some work with the forge itself. So I don't know if I covered this in the last episode or not, uh, but we do have this sort of um, dirt slab now. It is petrified oak. Uh, you do have to use a pickaxe to break it. But, um, uh, I put in a recipe for it using, um, the, the data packs for custom recipes. And, um, I got the idea from Jermsey Boy and his textures for himself, as well as the Vastin series. And I just love having dirt slabs. And obviously we have stone stairs and stone slabs now. And I think there's some andesite here in the floor floor somewhere um <laughs> uh, yeah there's some andesite in the floor and i think it looks incredible um the fact that i can do all of this back here and have it be dark like there's no light back there and just put stairs and slabs on everything and i have it look natural i think is absolutely incredible i love the way that it looks um i love the fact that we were able to add the dirt with the uh petrified oak slabs and uh i wanted to leave this dark for a specific reason um forges are usually dark so when um when a blacksmith is working iron it can be many different colors uh so it can be red orange yellow or white and if there's a whole lot of light in here it makes it hard to see those colors which is why um forges that you see historically in documentaries and stuff they're always really really dark <laughs> and it kind of makes it kind of makes sense so i wanted to be able to make it dark in here or as dark as possible um and not have mobs spawn and i think it worked out really well obviously there is still some light but it's not like it would be if we had to you know a torch spam or lantern spam the whole area which I think is really, really nice. So the lanterns are kind of, I think, the only the only new 114 block that I really played with um, in that, that bit that I recorded that I decided to go ahead and toss. But this is uh, the completed forge. I did some work on the outside. I think that was a time lapse in the last episode, but I'm not sure. <laughs> and then uh, we have a wall that's done except for this i'm not sure what i want to do up on the mountain uh but other than that the wall is complete um it goes all the way around there's no towers or anything but i think i think i'm gonna leave it like that i think i'm gonna let it go ahead and be a very simple sort of um wall structure we finished it on a stream again like four weeks ago <laughs> uh but i think it is looking really good um i'm still kind of trying to tweak my spruce texture a little bit but it's getting to somewhere where i like it what i want to do today is build um i want to build our first house that's going to be in this village i want it to be 
sort of reminiscent of this very simple Minecraft style, I think. <laughs> I'm not really sure yet because I want it to look um, very medieval, kind of like this and um, on the smaller side, but I do want it to have a little bit of a flair or finesse, if you will. I don't want to have just a bunch of <laughs> rectangular boxes. I think we are going to build it right in this area and um, it's going to be cobblestone and spruce primarily, I think, because that's what we've got in this area. So let me go ahead. I am going to collect some materials, collect some resources. I think I'm going to go ahead and just collect all of this sugar cane uh, because we don't really need it to be growing anymore. I have enough books to make our first enchanting setup, so we're good there. Um, not going to be in this episode, but I do have the materials. Uh, so I'm going to kind of clean this up a little bit and get some materials together for a house. And when I know what we're going to do, I will bring you guys back. All right, everyone. So I have a foundation up for the house. It's right there. You can see it. That was put up during my second attempt at recording this. Um, this is now my third attempt at recording the building of this house and, um, I'm just not, I'm not going to try again because apparently, <laughs> apparently I can't build houses and record videos that make any amount of coherent sense or include full sentences at the same time. <laughs> so, um, I'm just not going to try. This is going to be the footprint for our house. Um, the bottom is going to be cobblestone, as you can see. Just like the other houses in the village, we're going to have sort of like a, a little itty bitty upstairs. If that. Did that just move? Anyway, a uh, little itty bitty upstairs, if that makes sense. I th think this goes right here. I'm not really sure. We'll put it there. It's fine. Um, right. It's like, yep, yeah, there we go. So um, we are going to have a little bitty upstairs that we will put in. And other than that, I do believe this is the complete structure for our house. It's not huge. Um, it's not small. <laughs> but... Um, Considering that that my normal house size, when I when I do try to build things, so the last time I tried to build a house, um, like a village esque kind of kind of deal, uh, it was massive in comparison to this little guy. So I'm actually kind of proud of myself with how small <laughs> this house is, and I think it actually looks really good. I think it's super, super cute. Um, do we want to put, yeah, we'll just put a window in there, I think. Yeah, there we go. So then in here we can have some windows and we've got some cute little windows for our house. It's got a lot of windows. Fantastic. I love it. Oh, and right here. So the layout of this house, um, I built this house in creative quite a while ago, actually. Um, and then I, you know, allergies and, and all that kind of fun stuff that people just love to deal with. Um, <laughs> and couldn't remember what I was doing. I had a couple designs in a creative world and I wasn't really sure what was going on with them. So I kind of revamped it a little bit and this house is what ended up. So I really do enjoy it. Also, uh, you might notice I did, did I poke that out like I'm supposed to? I did. Um, I did go and get some dark oak. That dark oak forest is north of here if you are playing on the seed and are interested. Uh, it didn't take too long. I did take a bed. I had to sleep once, I think. I don't, I don't remember. Um, so our roof structure is actually going to have more than one 
peak. So there's going to be a, a triangle right here, a triangle right here, obviously. And then we are going to have one right here as well. So like this. And then obviously our roof structure will build off of those. I'm going to go ahead and uh, work on that. All right. So we've actually uh, almost got this roof done because I didn't want to have to build it on camera. <laughs> Which I know is horrible, but I, I just can't do it. Like I thought about it and I was working on the roof and I was like, you know what? It's just going to be better for everybody involved <laughs> if I don't try to record on camera. And so I'm, I'm, I'm not. That's, that's really what it comes down to. So we've got a, uh, we've got a setup here with some, uh, spruce up here, some dark oak on our wood up top. And I think with the exception of my wonderful scaffolding, I think that our roof actually looks pretty good. We've got one other thing that I want to do up on the roof itself. If I've got the materials for it, it looks like I do. And that is to come over here because this side is very, very long. And I actually want to put almost like a little uh, dormer window in here, I think is is what we're gonna <laughs> what we're gonna call it and I think what I want to do for that is just kind of do a little bit um not that let's see like like that and then we'll take uh some of these guys but uh like so this guy right here and we'll do the same thing over here so right here and right here and then here nope 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 here see the building houses on camera and and me do not we, we just don't get along very well <laughs> it just doesn't work for any of us really if you think about what's going on here Oh, I do apologize. Um, so we can do something like that. I am out of stairs, it looks like. And we're going to need a full block there, I think. Or we could just do that. That works too. But we'll get some stairs in there and have a little bit of... <laughs> it looks kind of silly right now. Uh, maybe I'll move it over one. Because I don't know that I like it lined up like that. Uh, but we've got a little bit of a dormer window there, which is going to work out very nicely, I think, with the sort of miniature miniature upstairs that we're going to be adding. So let's put this guy here. And this guy, not that guy. This guy here. And we should be good to go on our little dormer. We're going to put uh, a spruce stair right there, which I think we're going to do on all of the windows all the way around the, all the way around the outside of the house, just to give them a little bit of something, uh, depth wise. Okay. That is looking good. What we need to do now is fill in uh, fill in these areas right here. So, and I don't know if I can reach any of these. But we need to fill in right here, I think. Yep. Um, so, I'm going to fill all of these in. And when we do that, we can put a window in here as well. Oh, those are stairs. <laughs> Uh, when we do that, we get a really nice looking exterior. And then what I want to do even from there is come in here and put these guys 
all the way like so. And I think that gives us a really, really nice exterior look on the quote unquote upstairs. And oh yeah, I like the way it looks. The top almost has like a log cabiny feel with the bottom being your traditional stone. I really, really like that. So let me go ahead and get the rest of it finished and I'll bring you guys back. I think that looks pretty good for our house. We may have to make that cobblestone though. Or I just grab some of this and do like so. And now it matches the rest. Excellent. What we need to do now is come on the inside here and fill in uh, our ceiling for the main floor of the house, which would be way easier if I could place blocks. Again, uh, me apparently building, talking, minecrafting, all recording. It's just not, it's just not. Follow me, Kai, this isn't your thing today. Um, I'm not listening. <laughs> <laughs> evidently uh, so let's go ahead and put in a little staircase up here this window I think it's gonna have to go we can leave that window let's see fill that in uh, fill well shoot that's all kind of roof isn't it um we could fill like, let's say I do something like that, maybe, and just make this a really tight space right here. And do we still have our doors on us? So we could put a little door right there. And this room kind of looks like who? Um, let's do that. And that's a stair, isn't it? Well, we could do like some shelves or we could do a different color shelf. That would be good too, probably. Um, let's see, let's do some of these. Put a shelf right there and we can put one right here. Yeah, this looks good. I actually really, really like this. And we've got a nice easy way up. Uh, I may swap that out for a trap door, which means the only thing that we have left to do is uh, do a little bit of interior work, uh, interior decorating, and get our glass in. You know what? Let me go ahead and do some do some fancy work on the inside and get some glass in there. And oh, I'm excited. That house looks good, you guys. I'm excited. It's gonna need a chimney too. So maybe we'll do a chimney. We'll see. We'll see. Um, so I'm gonna do some of the little detail work I said, and I will bring you guys back. Hey guys, we're back and I did some decorating. So we've got uh, some window shutters on the outside, some berry bushes, which add some great color. Uh, there is a chimney up here with a uh campfire in it now this design is not mine um this actually came from one of wells knight's kingdom videos kingdoms videos a couple of days ago uh, and it was suggested to him by one of his viewers i believe um and we've got some details out here all the glasses in the windows i did add uh, a little um i don't even know what you would call that but some detail <laughs> up there in the roof and I think overall, the exterior actually looks really nice. I'm very happy with the way this house came out. Inside, we've got a little table here, um, a little table here. Or this is like like a eating at table. I don't know what to do with those stairs yet. Um, uh, a little table, a kitchen. We've got a smoker for cooking some food in. And this is actually the same pillar that the chimney is on. And if we come upstairs, we've got a barrel, which I might add some more of those. Um, some of these guys for a little desk, a bed, and a nightstand. All of our lighting is done with the, the beautiful 
uh, lanterns that were added in 114. Can I get down my ladder? Thank you. <laughs> and I think all in all, this house came out really, really nice. I'm actually really happy with it. I like the way it looks. Um, I think it's the, the right size for um, probably a, 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 maybe even one of the larger houses in this village. I think it works very well. I'm not sure if we're going to have anything that's bigger than that or not, but I think it works. And uh, it's lovely. I, I really like it, considering that I'm, I, I struggle with houses. Um, I think we did rather well. <laughs> Let me know what you guys think. I am going to call this episode here. Uh, we've got a house built, and I've got all kinds of plans for the future, both in this town as well in this mining town. I think it's Springs Mine. We're going to go with Springs Mine. So I've got plans for Springs Mine as well as some new places to build in, which um, we might start next episode. I don't, I do want to quote unquote finish um, all of the villages that we start, but I don't want to spend so much time in one that I get burnt out on it. So I may, maybe we'll start a new one next episode. We will see. Uh, but for now, again, let me know what you think. I hope that you enjoyed the episode. I hope you have a wonderful rest of the day. I will do the comment of the video next episode. I have to go through all of the comments I just remembered. Um, so next episode we'll have two. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>